Hello and welcome to another daily prompt. This prompt is the first in my Women's History Month prompt series. Um, So essentially this month, starting from today, well this was written yesterday, um, I'm going to be doing at least one prompt a day dedicated to women, celebrating women and everything like that. Um, So I did miss the first three days um, because I was a little bit ill, so I wasn't really in a writing mood, um, and also the prompts weren't really working with the theme of womanhood and stuff, so down the line I will be catching up um, with them three days by doing some prompt days where I do two prompts dedicated to Women's History Month. So at the end we will have 31 prompts based on celebrating women. So with that said, um, this is the first prompt for Women's History Month. The prompt is, as someone who works in a repair shop, you've seen a lot of damaged and old items, but sometimes an object is brought to you that raises some questions. And this story is titled, Two Minutes Before Closing Time. So let's get right into it. She looked as if she just walked out of a film noir. She's arrived two minutes before closing time and threw down a large sum of money and placed the package gently on the counter before telling me she'd return for it in the morning. The sound of her heels would stick with me for the rest of the night. I unwrapped the object as carefully as I could and became even more confused. It was just a small rag doll, wild secrecy, and it definitely wasn't worth the price she'd paid to fix it. Sentimental value, perhaps? I saw the small cut in the back of the doll and sewed it up swiftly before wrapping it back in its silk and continuing on with other projects before going home for the night. Two minutes after we opened, she arrived. Is it ready? She stuck out her hand impatiently and I placed a package in it gently. She lifted the silk and inspected the fix. Did you see anything inside? I told her I hadn't and she looked me over suspiciously before nodding and giving me a rather large tip and leaving. Two weeks later, I found a newspaper sitting on the bus. The bus is only three seats. I don't usually read the paper, but I decided to that day. On page 17, I saw a curious article about a jewel thief who'd hidden small expensive jewels in rag dolls. She'd later gift to children she'd find in homeless shelters. She didn't know how to sew, and so went to various repair shops around the country, paying for the seam she'd cut to be fixed. She was arrested after being dobbed in by the owner of one of the repair shops. I shook my head after finishing the article. How could he drop her in like that? I'd seen a ruby wrapped in a note that said, I hope this serves you and your loved ones well. And I didn't say anything. All he had to do was keep his mouth shut. 